Okay, so we left off with the last time with um, with the sidebar. Now let's add our items into the cart items. How do we do it? So basically, we have um, the whole sidebar. But we don't have uh, our items yet. But we have a card provider for that. So we just use the use card provider context and uh, use the items in it. So basically, uh, these items are those items that are inside our cart. So for now, we just iterate it through it. And uh, we will make a new component. Let's just, for now, uh, show uh, just a div and show the name. Or, or the ID, because we have to map it to a short card product. Then key equals item with ID, and this way still not, but. Um, Never mind. Um, so this way we will see um, if we had a new item, then we will see uh, the ID of the element. So if we go to the black and we add two cards, we will see the two. So let's make um, Uh, a new uh, cart item, which I'm going to pay, place inside the sidebar. Let's make a folder called component. And in here, I'm going to make a shirt cart item .tsx. And shirt cart item is going to, uh, of course, have an interface. This is going to be a product, which is a shirt card product. And then create the shirt card item. Return. Empty for now and export default shortcut item. Just return an empty fragment from now. So now we can use this shortcut item inside our sidebar. So basically, we just change this to a short shortcut item per key equals item.id. And import it, and product is an item basically. So, the next thing we want to do is uh, implement our uh, item inside the um, sidebar. So, let's make a couple of divs. Let's let's make it uh, flex flex row um, justify between um, item center centering. Let's add a bit of board there, and we full for for width. Then we add uh, a new div. 
last name flex flex it's all for a column this is also going to be a full width and um, we make a h3 with a class name text white and this is going to be our products uh sure. oh it doesn't implement uh, the shirt so uh it's not a product it's a shirt because shirt implements the product so basically we are just at the same so here we can use the name also we want to uh, show the price in a page four it's also gonna be uh, text white why not and this is going to be a product dot uh, price and we are going to just place an euro sign there and we also at h6 plus name text white we want to show the quantity which is product dot quantity after this uh, I'm going to make a line and I want to show the total of the items so the price times the quantity so basically we do it with um, we can do it text uh, h5 text y total is product dot price times product dot quantity and the euro sign and as we can see um, if we had two I'm going to refresh it so basically we add two the price is uh, 100 euro we bought two total is 200 euros but this way we don't know what those properties are so let's add the name the price and also the quantity and this way as you can see the name is Olivia price quantity 2 and total is 200 euros uh, I wanted to sh show this for now next time we I, I, am, I hope to start to use local storage so if we um, refresh the page then our cart items are not going to disappear till then have a nice day thank you for watching subscribe uh, like the video if you liked it bye bye